right, I'm making a short Jiataku fish rub um, demonstration video. I posted one yesterday on YouTube, but I had music playing in the background, and afterward, um, I got to thinking about it, and I looked it up, and you really shouldn't have music playing that could be copyrighted. So that's why I'm doing another video today. So there's my salmon. Um, before I get started, though, I'm going to show you a few of my dishwasher safe weatherproof vinyl stickers. Um, I've got like 60 designs on my artist website, Ingo's Wild Alaska, and I ship for free. These all feature my artwork. Um, this is one of my digital designs. It's actually one of my best, best sellers. Um, this I actually used a real salmon like what I'm doing today. This was one of my um, Giotaku artworks that I incorporated into that. This is also a Giotaku octopus rub that I did using a real octopus. This one is as well. Um, these, I have some holographic ones. These aren't dishwasher safe, but they are weatherproof, so you can put them on your truck or your vehicle. And there's a smaller salmon. And this is one of my digital illustrations. And this is a digital illustration of mine. This is also a really good seller. This is a stylized photograph that I used, or did. So anyway, that's just a small sample, like I said, of, I've got close to 60 designs there of stickers and stuff that you can find on my website. All right, now let's get to the actual fish rub here. Bear with me, set up. All right, so this is a silver salmon I'm doing rubs of. This is day three, so it's a good thing you're not here because this fish is not smelling too good. Uh, on occasion, rare occasions, I've actually eaten the fish that I've used for my artwork because I use non-toxic paints and inks, which allow me to be able to wash the fish off and eat it if I'm really quick. Um, but the thing of about it, the prep the prep time for the fish, it can take anywhere from one to two hours to actually get the fish prepped and ready to actually use to create artwork. And um, fish start to deteriorate as soon as they die, so it's not really something uh, I want to make a habit out of eating the fish. And because it takes so long to prep them, I prefer to just take one fish, spend all that time prepping it and then get as many rubs out of it as I can and eat all the other fish that I catch. So, And like I said, this is day three on this fish. What I do is, if I want to get as much mileage as I can out of a fish, I'll do as many rubs as I can um, one day, and then I, I have to hang them all up to dry overnight. So I'll stop wrap my fish up, put it in the refrigerator, take those, free up some space the next day and start over again. Like I said, the prep time is so time consuming and arduous that I really don't want to do that. Uh, it's ex I'm just not gonna do it either on a bunch of fish. It's just, it's too, too much involved, so. I'm using a roller here because I don't like brush marks on my artwork and every single paintbrush I've tried, you don't see the brush marks on the fish itself, but you do see it on the artwork. So, and I think it looks bad. I'm very, very particular about my artwork. And I don't have a problem throwing stuff away if it's not up to my, what I want it to look like. Now, I'm, I am using a brush on the fins because you're not going to really, you don't see that because of the direction of the ribbing on the fins. You don't see the brush strokes. So 
So if you go to my artist website, Ink Goes Wild Alaska, I-N-K, Goes Wild Alaska, you'll see that um, besides my originals, my greeting cards, my stickers that I have for sale on my artist website, I also have links to two online stores. Um, as an artist, I've found that you, I really, uh, it's important, I think, to diversify because uh, you really kind of need to do that if you want it to ever become more than just a hobby. <laughs> so um, I have an online Zazzle store, which I have over 4,800 items in my store that feature my designs. Um, I'm actually wearing a pair of my leggings right now. I have a compression compression leggings in there. Um, I wear them when I fly because I have restless calves that drive my drive me nuts on planes. Um, but anyways, at, in my legging collection, I've got like 175 different designs to choose from. I also have another legging collection of other artists. Zazzle Artist leggings that I really like and I've purchased some out of there as well. So um, what else? Let's see. I've got a small Amazon store. The link is also on my artist website. With Zazzle though, the, the quality of the merchandise is really good. You can customize anything in my store which is makes for awesome gift giving. Just add somebody's name to something. Um, another thing, if you go through you go through the link on my artist website, that's the easiest way to find my store because it's it's hard to actually search individual artist stores on the Zazzle website. But also, that link I've provided on my artist website, I earn a little bit more profit if you go through that, which is really nice because Zazzle, a lot of times they have these really fantastic sales. They have daily sales every day. And when they cut the slash the price 50% or 30% or whatever, on whatever it is then I make a lot less profit because I'm not making a huge amount to begin with anyway so if you go through that link that pretty makes pretty much makes up the difference so that I'm not really losing any any profit if you go through that link to my store there's also a way to do free shipping with Zazzle which is something here in Alaska we really appreciate um, Zazzle has two free shipping accounts. One is their 995 Zazzle Black Standard account, which gets you free standard rate shipping through the post office for an entire year for $9.95. You cannot beat that. Um, the other account, which is the one that I have, is 40 bucks. It's $39.95, and it's their Zazzle Black Two Day, and that gets me free two-day shipping through UPS for an entire year. So um, that's the route I've, I've gone. Being in Alaska, if you go slow boat through the post office, it takes like three weeks to get anything up here. So um, I really like the UPS shipping. All right, so got him all painted up. Oops, almost forgot one little thing here. And if you go to my stores and purchase anything, you know, feel free to reach out to me on social media, Facebook, or email me through my artist website or um, Instagram and let me know, you know, that you went in there and got something. Or if you want something custom, a custom design, um, say you see one of my designs on a mug and you'd like to have it on a throw pillow or something, just let me know and I'll do it. I love doing custom stuff for people. This paper that I'm using here is a hand pattern paper that was imported from Thailand. Each sheet of these papers has a unique patterning to them. No two sheets are alike. And the same thing goes with fish rubs. Every single fish rub I do, even when it, you know it's the same fish, but each rub ends up being as unique as a fingerprint. 
So I really like combining these unique papers with the geotopy process because it truly makes for a one-of-a-kind work of art. I sell most of my originals unframed in art galleries and gift shops and my artist website. That way it keeps the cost down and um, I'm not wasting money on framing. I, I was told by the frame shop that I use that 50% of the time when people buy artwork that's already framed, they wind up reframing it anyway to match the decor in their homes. So to me, that's just a colossal waste of money. I mean, it's it jacks up the price of the artwork for nothing. So this way, people can pick out exactly how they want to have stuff framed and the artwork is a lot more affordable. And again, um, if you buy any of my unframed originals, from me off of my website, I ship for free. Actually, I ship worldwide for free, so. Same thing goes with my stickers. I ship worldwide for free. And I'm happy to do custom name drop stickers on any of the stickers that you see on my website. So if you're a business in the lower 48, for instance, if you have a coffee cart, I've got a local coffee cart selling my coffee sticker, coffee cracking, as well as a bunch of my other stickers. Um, it's a little drive up place and the stickers are doing really good at her place. So, um, but anyways, if you're in the lower 48 or something and you would like something with your um, city and state name on it or business name, let me know reach out to me because I'm happy to do those. All right. Time for the big reveal. This paper is called Volcano because it looks like lava. Ooh. That's not too bad, huh? So after this is dried for about a day or so then, at that point, um, it'll be ready for the next step, which is painting in the eye, signing it, of course, and trimming off the excess paper. All right, get this puppy hung up. Oops, there we go. And there you have it.